Hi, Patricia Castañeda. Happy to be your board chair for Women for Change Indiana. In my day job, I work for Key Bank, delivering financial wellness programs at places of work for the employees of the employers we serve. And a lot of the things that we've been talking about recently has been around managing your finances during a crisis. There are three main things that I want to talk about. One is budgeting, putting a budget together. Unless you already have one, you should be revising it anytime that there's a change in your life and all of us are experiencing changes. So you want to look for what monies you may have available to go towards the next two things. One is managing your debt. We should be paying off our debt as much as possible, as quickly as possible. There are three different ways that you can do that. One is by looking at the top-down way, which is look at the interest rate that you owe in each of the items that you have debt with and uh, pay the highest first. That's one approach. Another approach is actually to go from the bottom up and take a look at your balances. Whatever you have in a balance that is the least amount, you should be paying that off first before you pay the highest amount. The nice thing about that is that we celebrate the uh, wins and any time that you pay off a debt, you can celebrate. The third way is to actually consolidate. And consolidation is really nice because it brings all of those balances into one payment. And uh, usually that also lowers your interest rate. Sometimes if you take a look at a 0% credit card, for instance, that may just completely em eliminate your interest rates. And it gives you also a set amount of time of when you're going to be paying that off. And the quick tip about that is make sure that you pay that off the month before that offer is due so that you don't have to pay for the back interest that you've been saving. That's a, a really um, quick way to um, get rid of all of the work that you did is if you don't pay it one month in advance, right? Um, then the, the next thing that I wanna talk about also after putting your budget together or that spending plan and then making sure that the money you have left over goes towards debt is savings. During the time that you're paying off your debt, you should still be putting money towards your savings. It's a good habit to, put, to be into. Not only that, but um, it, even if it's $20 a paycheck, $5 a paycheck, or whatever it is, there's something should be going into that savings account. Because ultimately what we want to do is to have a, a savings account, liquid money, that is available to you for the next crisis. Hopefully not anytime soon. But when it comes, you want to have at least 6 months to 12 months of that spending plan, that monthly spending plan that you want, that you're responsible for in your savings account. That just brings peace of mind to you. The next thing that I want to talk about is be careful of the scams. There are many of them out there. Believe me, everybody's looking for a way to make money right now. So be careful with clicking on links, on emails that you receive, uh, question everything, and especially phone calls right now. There are a lot of people that are receiving phone calls that are sometimes even threatening. And then the last thing is stay in communication with your banker. Anybody that you owe money to, definitely, but also the banker that knows you that knows, meets you where you are and also knows what your goals are so that you can keep revisiting that strategy of how to get to that place where you're going to be able to get your goals accomplished. Maybe your goal is not going from paycheck to paycheck anymore. Maybe your goal is getting those six months of savings saved up um, so that you can have peace of mind. Or maybe your goal is to get out of debt and to work on your credit. Maybe your goal is to be able to go on a vacation next year when everything else opens up. Whatever it is, make sure that you're using the, the conversations that you have with your banker to help you get to that strategy. And as always, please reach out. Thank you so much for your support of Women for Change, for your attention, and for helping us reach our goals. You might want to add us to your spending plan, and if you do, we really thank you because our goals are your goals. And we want to make sure that together we accomplish. Thank you.